So uh, how I got into art was a little bit of a kind of meandering road. Uh, I, I always was interested in art as a kid. Um, I did a lot through school, but I was also really fixated on engineering and specifically aerospace. Um, so I ended up actually majoring in aerospace engineering, but probably about halfway through school, I found myself taking freelance jobs and having an opportunity to do these really cool conceptual illustrations of space vehicles. So for like next gen uh, shuttles or Mars missions and things like that. And, and I quickly found that I was having a lot more fun doing this thing on the side that I was being paid to do. Um, and so that was a that was like a sudden kind of abrupt kind of shift in thought there where I realized, you know what, I, I kind of stumbled into maybe kind of a future career that I hadn't really thought about before. Uh, so at that point, I, I left school and, and took a job as a graphic designer for a while and went back to art school later to kind of train up more in uh, 3D and kind of generalist uh, art production. Really, like, just building up kind of art skills, it's, it's just kind of a daily battle of just you know, blood, sweat, and tears. It's like, it, it's, it's kind of pushing yourself to the point that you, you think um, it's not achievable, it's not possible, like the point where you're just about to give up and kind of powering through it. Like it never, at least for me, it never felt like a smooth process. It's, it's always something where um, you just, you keep struggling, keep striving to kind of improve yourself and keep being inspired from the world around you and, and other like really, really talented artists. Um, so for me, it's like, it's always this exciting, friendly competition of being inspired by something really cool somewhere else and really you know, having it kind of elevate the goals you set for yourself. So some of the challenges of getting into the industry, um, it, it's a really competitive field. There's lots of really talented artists, not only like seasoned kind of professionals, but lots of up and coming students with, you know, incredibly gifted. Um, so really it's about finding kind of like the perfect fusion of the thing you love to do and the thing that really fits your skill set. And I think as soon as those two things align, not only will you feel really good about what you're doing, when people look at your work, it'll be kind of self-evident. Um, so it's something that it, it doesn't actually require years of experience. It's just kind of figuring out that secret sauce of what, what is your own kind of personal magic. The, the day to day is, is very different. Like, so my job pretty much entails kind of overseeing kind of the art production from early conceptual process all the way through the final execution of the game. So sometimes it's everything from kind of critiquing visuals in, in progress to trying to figure out technology and pipeline and how we kind of achieve the vision that we want on kind of the target hardware that we're shipping on. For me, like one of the, the great things about working at Ready at Dawn, that I've been here a while, is, is like we, we work on these big, exciting projects, but even as we grow, we're kind of able to still maintain the kind of magic of kind of a small team mentality where everyone can kind of voice their ideas, they're listened to, and like lots of great ideas come from many kind of diverse people and, and positions on the team. Um, as well as for me, like having a technical background and an artistic background, Ray Dawn and the game industry in general is really exciting because you're kind of working in this amalgam of like engineering, technology, and art kind of all colliding. So for, for me, it's like I'm able to bring all those different skill sets to bear. And it's, it's kind of exciting because every, everything you do on a daily basis is a really refreshing change of pace. So depending on the discipline, what we look for in portfolios in RAD really varies. But I think one common element is that when I see a portfolio, without reading a resume or speaking to the person, the work should really reflect what you love doing and what you're good at. And I think as soon as that is kind of self-evident in how the portfolio is displayed and the content you show, you know you're on a good track because you're not trying to kind of throw the kitchen sink at um, you know, every potential position on the market. You really have something that you're driven and focused on and you understand that and then I think that will become very clear when an employer reviews your work. So it's, it's kind of tricky because I know students, there's a tendency to want to try everything and to show you can do everything. 
but and sometimes it can become more of a hindrance in, in looking for a job because you know maybe you wouldn't be qualified to apply for a number of positions, but then the one that really fits your passion and skill set, that's the one where someone looking at that will immediately see that person is you know, the right person for this field.